This is Catherine Dubberly, the answer lady. Today I'm going to change the end racks on an old studio knitting machine. As far as I know, this was a feature of the Studio Singer Silver Reed brand, and now some artisan machines have them. I don't know of any other brands that do, but this is an essential thing to keep in good condition. Here's something that happens when a knitting machine has been used a lot or even sat in storage. There's supposed to be a little rubber bumper there that continues the serrated pattern of this metal part. And it allows the bed to pattern correctly all the way to the edge of the knitting, even if you're using all the needles. This is what the bumper looks like. Mine have completely disintegrated. There's what's left of one. It just fell apart the last pass across. Fortunately, these are still available, and this is how they fit. See those two little knobs? This one actually is the one for the other side of the machine. You need to make sure it's oriented as you're looking at. This edge will fit in there. These two knobs will slide into these two slots, and the top edge will go right there. This one is a little bit tough to slide into place, so my hands are going to block your view while I try to wiggle it into position and I'll just cut that part out. There it is correctly in position and you can see how when the patterning drum moves across it will have a place to seat itself at the very edge of the machine. What you're looking at is an old and much loved and in need of cleaning, I apologize, Studio 328. But you may be interested to note that the new artisan standard gauge machine, I think it's called a 245, has interchangeable parts, at least to this degree. So I was able to get these new end racks, is what they're called, and keep my machine going. Hope this helps you.